The only food available to you when deployed on an aircraft carrier is the food supplied at the mess hall. There are no shops, no favorite restaurants, and no favorite foods. Everyone on board consumes the same cuisine. But there are a few more steps involved than simply preparing the meal. The city at sea houses thousands of people on board for months. A startling amount of food must be consumed in order to feed an astounding number of people three times every day. The aircraft carrier is a huge undertaking that needs precise planning in addition to being a fighting platform. On the USS Enterprise, over 7,000 meals must be made daily to feed every sailor and crew member. The adequate provision of food for the sailors is essential since it will have a significant impact on the success of the war as a whole. How does the US Navy maintain its supply of warships at sea? It's another episode for high technology. Welcome to this channel. If you're new, be part of the team by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you'll stay updated on our upcoming incredible videos. Ride along as we take a close look at how Navy ships feed thousands of people on board. Anyway, where does all the food preparation start for aircraft carriers? Resupply operations are laborious and sometimes dangerous due to the United States Navy's warships' continuous deployment in open ocean. Ongoing replenishment is one tactic that may be employed. In order to accomplish this while guiding the supply ship into position, the ship must match its speed. Every time the two ships are following parallel paths one another, a hotline is sent. Line handlers are in charge of bringing in the noticeably heavier messenger line after that. Pallets are transferred from the top side of one structure to the the other once everything is connected. Fuel, food mail, and supplies all weighing thousands of pounds have been transported during the transfer. Others keep an eye out for unexpected waves while some sailors keep an eye out for potential hazards. A further technique is vertical replenishment. The helicopters are joined together by a cargo hook. Every time they make a trip, they drop off some cargo. It can take some time to finish the process. Considering all these, how are food products inside kept? The transporter features both refrigerated and dry storage areas on a lower deck packed with many of the same products as a normal retail supermarket. The Navy makes an effort to cater to the tastes and preferences of American service members whose appetites and tendencies were comparable to those of their contemporaries at home. The ships eat similar or identical meals every day, regardless of where they were deployed, adhering to some degree to a regular diet. Every attempt is made by staff members in charge of providing supplies to restock their shelves once every week. They accomplish this by making use of existing agreements with significant wholesalers and they have food delivered to the ship anytime it is close to a port. However, there are situations when the ship might be in too deep of a sea. Fresh foods start to disappear and are replaced with canned or dry foods when this happens. So how does food preparation works on board the aircraft carrier? When busy, the galley on an aircraft carrier resembles an enlarged version of a restaurant kitchen. There is so much to do that they quickly maneuver around the massive mixers and remove the freshly baked dishes from the ovens. The USS Enterprise's cooks are also referred to as culinary specialists are in charge of feeding the ships approximately 5,500 passengers and crew members. During a military mission, it is crucial to keep the crews well fed to preserve the morale and energy levels because unfortunately, sailors put in more time to work and only take fewer breaks. Nobody on the carrier would have anything to eat without this culinary staff. Despite the fact that they are not in charge of the fleet and an army that is poorly fed won't perform well in a war. That is why the logistics and attention paid to feeding the sailors and marines aboard are so extensive. On the USS Enterprise, over 7,300 meters meals must be made daily to feed every sailor and crew member. Even with the participation of all 114 sailors, that seems like some sort of culinary miracle. The capacity to manage numerous jobs at once and collaborate well with others are crucial. According to people in charge of this enormous enterprise organization, they must function as a team because of the deployment and they are totally reliant on one another. The ship is equipped with a number of kitchens, 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons 
of milk, 30 cases of cereal, and 350 pounds of lettuce may all be consumed in one day by the crew on board. The production of everything is massive. Because adaptation is so crucial, cooks always have to prepare meals, carry out different tasks, and pick up new skills in order to take on new duties. Every day, people spend anywhere between $45,000 and $65,000 on food. That is equivalent to $1 and $8 million each and every month. The carrier must always have enough food in all of the galleys. A supply ship will transport between 400,000 and 1 million pounds of food every 7 to 10 days. Regional items like Greek feta cheese are frequently included when delivery variety is required. Due to the fact that the sailor's mood is directly influenced by the food they eat, when a sailor is stationed at sea and their birthday falls within a particular month, they are treated to a celebratory meal with a prime rib or lobster main course, a tablecloth, wine glasses, and relaxing background music. The ship's chef put in a lot of effort to make sure the copious amounts of food they prepare are delectable. Large quantities of food are made and served almost continuously throughout the day. For instance, hamburgers are cooked on barbecues that can hold several dozen people at once while mashed potatoes are produced in kettle drum sized pans. On a beef night, 1,500 pounds of meat are needed, and on a chicken night, 1,200 pounds of chicken are needed. When the galleys do get around to serving beer, it comes in a container that has been cut in half from an airplane engine and is filled with ice. There are gyms perched in the hangar bay to burn off the food. One is for lifting weights and the other is for treadmill runners, hence the moniker Gerbil Gyms. A barber shop with 8 seats conducts 25,000 haircuts a year to guarantee that the sailors always have the proper haircut. The men and women who are stationed up on the flight deck where they are in charge of landing planes on a very small runway and controlling the jets themselves find life on an aircraft carrier to be certainly demanding and taxing. But it can also be thrilling. There is nowhere else on earth quite like it, whether the encounter is favorable or negative. Undeniably, sailors on the aircraft carriers may eat better than anyone else in the fleet. What's the most extravagant food preparation have you tried eating on board? Let us know in the comments. That would be a wrap for today's video. We hope this has been amusing to you. If you enjoyed watching, give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button together with the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.